Hello and welcome to Case Madeiradrome, the home of the Irish Air Corps. Are you someone that has an interest in science or engineering, would like to challenge themselves with a demanding but rewarding career, and would like the opportunity to be part of a team? Well then, a career in military aviation could be for you. So, I'm aware that there may be people watching who may not know much about who we are or what we do. So let's kick off by asking, what is the Irish Air Corps? We are part of the Irish Defence Forces, whose mission is to provide military capability to defend Ireland and assigned interests internationally. This is done using a land component known as the Irish Army, a sea component known as the Naval Service, and an air component which is ourselves, the Irish Air Corps. The primary role assigned to us is to defend the state against armed aggression. We do this through the use of our various aircraft platforms and personnel skill sets. So let's take a look at some of these aircraft. The Pilatus PC-9M is a low-wing, tandem-seat, turboprop aircraft that is used for airspace security, pilot flying training and low-level display flying. It can also be used in the light attack role where it is configured with underwing armament. These configurations include rocket pods capable of holding 14 2.75 inch folding fin aerial rockets and two 50 cal heavy machine guns, which are each fitted with 250 round belts. We regularly conduct air firing exercises practicing in the use of these weapon systems. Personnel and cargo transport are an essential element of military aviation. One aircraft that excels in this role is our Airbus military CASA CN-235. And that's due to this large opening rear ramp door, which allows for ease of loading and unloading of both cargo and personnel, both on the ground and in the air. We've now looked at two examples from our various fixed wing aircraft, but what about rotary wing? Due to the fact that they can fly slower and hover, Helicopters offer increased capability for personal insertion and extraction from hostile environments, both during the day and at night. We train with other Defence Forces units in exercises such as marine counterterrorism, whereby the Army Special Forces engage in fast roping from our AW139 helicopter in order to assist in regaining control of a vessel in simulated distress. We have now seen how we carry out our primary role, which is to defend the state against armed aggression. However, using our aircraft platforms and personnel skill sets, the Irish Air Corps also performs a number of secondary roles. Some of these roles include aerial firefighting with our rotary wing fleet, flying the Garda helicopter as part of the Garda air support unit, aeromedical operations, and maritime patrols across Ireland's exclusive economic zone. Let's take a look at one of these roles more closely. The Emergency Aeromedical Support Service. This sees our AW129 helicopter configured as an air ambulance and detached to costume barracks in Athlone. This allows us to rapidly respond to casualties anywhere in the country, offering medical assistance and rapid air transport to the most appropriate receiving hospital. When someone dials 999 or 112 in an emergency situation, the dispatcher will take into account patient severity and patient location. And if necessary, the Emergency Aeromedical Support Service helicopter may be dispatched to the casualty site. The ability to fly at 300 km an hour allows the AW129 helicopter to quickly respond with advanced medical intervention. We have now discussed what is the Irish Air Corps and some of its roles. So what do you think? Are you interested in military aviation? Well then, let's discuss some of the career options available to you to join our team. You can join as an apprentice, a recruit or a cadet. Let's remember this using the acronym ARC. To begin, we look at the Apprentice Technician Programme. An apprentice becomes a qualified aircraft technician and will maintain the various aircraft platforms that we operate. They specialise in many disciplines, including airframes, engines and avionics. The apprentice begins his or her training in Casement Aerodrome, where they complete their military training lasting six months. Upon completion of this, they then transition to the technical training school 
to commence their academic studies, lasting approximately three and a half years. The Technical Training School, which is also located in Case Aerodrome, is accredited on behalf of the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. And upon completion of their course, each apprentice is awarded a Bachelor of Engineering in Military Aviation Technology and is qualified to work on Irish Airport aircraft. Next, we have the Recruit Programme. Joining as a recruit allows for progression and training into almost all other specialist skill sets in the Irish Air Corps. Similar to the apprentice program, recruit training lasts six months, upon completion of which the recruit qualifies as an airman or airwoman. At this point, they can apply for a range of courses, which allows them to take part in specialist roles in our organization, such as winch operator, aviation firefighter, air traffic controller, aerial photographer, and combat medic, to name but a few. The final career option is the cadet training program, which provides officer and flying training, allowing an individual to become a pilot in the Irish Air Corps. Cadet training begins in the Defence Forces Training Centre, located in the Curra County Kildare, whereby the cadet will complete 10 months of military training alongside their Army and Naval Service counterparts. On conclusion of their military training, Air Corps cadets return to Casement Aerodrome to complete the academic phase of their training, lasting approximately nine months. This is done in the Flying Training School, where cadets study the Airline Transport Pilot License Theoretical Syllabus. Cadets will then progress to the Flying Training phase, where they will learn to fly using the Pilatus PC-9M and gain the necessary skills required to become a military pilot. Upon completion of their training, cadets will qualify as commissioned officers and be rewarded their military wings. This allows them to progress onto other fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft within the Irish Air Corps. So if you like what you've seen, you can find out more information at the Defence Forces website, military.ie. You can view more content on our daily operations and be notified on our upcoming recruitment competitions by following us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. You now know everything you need to know about joining our team. So what are you waiting for?